Hey guys, it's Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist here in uh, my suite in Bogota, Colombia. And wanted to talk about uh, yet another new citizenship opportunity that a lot of people aren't talking about, that the ward hasn't gotten out yet. And this is a very interesting change in the citizenship market that I've uh, predicted for a while. And it's relating to economic citizenship. Um, you've got a handful of countries now in the Caribbean that will offer economic citizenship with donations ranging from 100 grand up until investing over a million dollars uh, in businesses. You now have two economic citizenship programs in uh, the European Union. You have one in Turkey. We talked about in another video, one that may be coming in Montenegro. Uh, you have uh, Vanuatu, other countries that are doing this. And of course, you have plenty of immigrant investor residency programs that lead to citizenship. And what I started saying a couple of years ago is that as um, the market becomes more saturated, especially at the, um, the more commoditized end, the non-EU part of the market, I said that you're going to see more um, uh, interesting offers coming out and you're going to see some interesting pricing. And we're seeing that now in the Caribbean where there are now not only two, but three programs where you can get in for $100,000. And this new program is potentially even better than the others. So Dominica had $100,000 economic citizenship uh, in 2015. It became better when they got visa-free access to Europe. St. Lucia, we did a video about a year ago, matched that offer and uh, killed their net worth requirement. Um, and they said it's $100,000. So now you had two programs, $100,000. Uh, St. Lucia to me seemed a bit more attractive. Uh, and now you have Antigua, which has decided to basically cut its uh, donation in half, down to $100,000. And the cool thing about this is you can actually take a family of four. So historically, you look at Dominica, you look at St. Lucia, it's $100,000. And if you want to add your spouse, that's an extra you know, seventy five grand or so. And then if you want to add kids, that's a little bit more. And then if you have a lot of kids, that's a bit more. Um, what Antique was allowing you to do is actually bring... Um, your spouse, bring your kids, put them all in the same package. Quite frankly, uh, I've been telling people, it, I, it makes me wish I were married, that I could just go out and, and just, you know, two for the price of one. Uh, so $100,000 in Antigua. It was $200,000, and I've been saying for a while that I thought Antigua was going to have to lower its price because they don't have a US E2 treaty status like Granada does. Uh, they did have access to Canada, but then following the footsteps of St. Kitts, they lost it. So Antigua really didn't have any great benefits. And I worked with someone recently who renounced their US citizenship on an Antiguan passport. And when I asked them why they chose that one, they just said, well, you know, I called one of those big firms and uh, they just said, hey, you know, pick one from this list. And I didn't know, so I just figured Antigua. It sounded, <laughs> it sounded nice, right? Um, so obviously there's some importance in planning your economic citizenship, but um, I don't think that prices are going to go down. I don't think you're going to see anybody in the Caribbean going below $100,000. I think that that's the low watermark. Um, and I've always said that prices in this market aren't going to go down. They're going to go up. Um, but you are going to see some more competitive offers. Um, and you're going to see, I think, the more, again, commoditized offers in the Caribbean with these uh, island countries. They're going to be a bit more aggressive. And they're going to be throwing in different stuff or making the process easier like St. Lucia did Um while the other bigger players like the EU, the Montenegros, the ones that um, are a bit less commoditized will, I think, be more uh, less aggressive in their pricing. So if you've been looking for an economic citizenship, Antigua is an interesting one. If you're single, there may be better options. If you're married, I think this is a great opportunity to get in uh, and save yourself, I mean, a lot of money over any of the other programs. And definitely shows that for people who want a passport very quickly, they don't want to mess around, they don't want to waste time, um, economic citizenship is becoming more and more viable. We're looking and, and we're doing more of it here at, uh, at Nomad Capitalist. Definitely something you should look into if having a second passport is of prime importance to you. If you want to talk uh, and you want to hear about uh, second passports, why you should get one, all the uh, details, Plenty of videos here on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure to check them all out. And make sure to check out nomadcapitalist.com as well.